The director of the CDC says the coronavirus could take a second swipe at the country this winter. The warning comes as more than 45,000 Americans have died from the virus and word that the first death came three weeks earlier than first thought. CBS 4's Tom Hansen reports from New York City. In a Washington Post interview, CDC Director Dr. Robert Redfield says the U.S. could see a second wave of coronavirus next winter. FDA Commissioner Dr. Stephen Hahn addressed the prediction on CBS This Morning. It's certainly a possibility, and the whole task force set of doctors um, is concerned about the second wave. And uh, Dr. Redfield's concern is that there also might be flu at the same time. The FDA has also authorized an at-home test for the virus. The first batch is going out to first responders who have COVID symptoms. Lack of testing has been a problem nationwide and it's believed that cases and deaths are far higher than reported. New York's governor secured double the amount of testing after an in-person meeting with President Trump at the White House. California is now the first state to recommend testing for all residents, regardless of symptoms. Michigan's governor says her state is still short on testing supplies. The family of 56-year-old Gary Fowler of Michigan says he was denied testing three times before he died. He was begging for his life, but no one would help him at all. Like they just kept sending him, sending him away. Despite lack of testing, many states and communities are moving to start opening up their economies. Georgia's Republican Governor Brian Kemp has come under fire after announcing his state will begin reopening Friday, even as the number of cases in Georgia continue to rise. The city of Albany, Georgia, has one of the highest per capita infection rates in the nation. I pray that the number of Georgians who are infected and die will not increase significantly in the coming weeks as a result of the lifting of these restrictions. Among the White House criteria for reopening is a two-week downward trend of COVID cases. That's a standard Georgia has not yet met. Tom Hanson, CBS News, New York.